Hi everybody, T-Biz here, and uh, it's Throwback Thursday, and uh, I would like to uh, thank Optimus B for reminding me that it was uh, Throwback Thursdays, and uh, let's uh, have some throwbacks. Uh, I got my guest uh, guest host here, uh, the Black Ninja guy from Karate Commandos, Chuck Norris's Karate Commandos. Um, once again, I'd like to thank uh, Ivan Ruiz, Ivan's Toy Box on Etsy, they, uh, he hooked me up with this uh, cool ninja. And right now he's our um, he's our guest host on this Throwback Thursdays uh, look in the um, look in the look into the past of uh, a day when there was a disposable income and easy living and uh, a lot of partying and um, not so much these days more of a serious sober life and more hard working life. But anyhow, um, this is a look at a eBay lot that I won and it's. Uh, a bunch of Kenner aliens, obviously. This is one of them. This red guy right here. Interesting dude. Don't have any missiles for him, but I guess he's supposed to launch things out of his guts. And he's got this weird claw and weird, not very workable or whatever, clawy, grabby arms. Very strange guy. But that's our first, uh, first nasty that we get to look at. And, uh, the next one is, uh, this dude. His gimmick is, uh, the, or whatever it is, flies. It's got a way gnarly translucent wings and arms and stuff like that and legs and, uh, big crazy veiny mohawk. And, uh, it's just freaking ridiculous, man. It's probably, I don't know, they just went... Either the people creating these for Kenner were on acid or just, they just went ape. They just went ape crap. Here's another nifty translucent dude. This one's green. He's kind of got like a praying mantis type thing going, I guess. Very freaking strange, but looks cool in the light with the whole translucent thing going. And um, I'd like to also let you guys know that I'm a huge fan of uh, translucent toys. This is an... I guess this is like a manis. Some kind of hurdy bug. Something that's not, you know, gonna bring you joy. And uh, here's another weird thing we got. It's a. Uh, this dude. Some kind of creepy spider alien. And uh, it's pretty neat. It's got some creepy, grabby looking arms. Kind of mouth thing going. Kind of gross, but uh, the action feature is kind of a pain in the ass with this thing. Oh my god, this is probably the worst action feature, but would, would it's supposed to be cool, but doesn't work with the crap. And these are old, so it, uh, yeah, it's just a waste of time. It works when it wants to work, but not working today obviously and here's another another translucent crazy thing this is rammy looking bull alien guy who has another feature that doesn't want to work it's supposed to work but doesn't i don't know i think these features kind of they're old so some of them will work some of them won't some of them oh there it goes i don't know what the hell that's supposed to do but yeah, it does work. I'm just kind of stupid and can't figure it out. And let's see. Then we got these two. These two weird bubbles. These panther looking aliens. It would look kind of cool. They kind of remind me of the dogs from uh, Hellhounds or whatever. The things from uh, Ghostbusters, kind of. They don't really do anything. They just kind of um, bob their heads and kind of shuffle along. They don't really do much. This one's black with uh, red stripes, silver silver noggin. They're pretty cool though. Got nice, cool spear-like tails. This one's got like an amber translucent dome head. More of like a copper and uh, grayish finish. Put these guys to the side. And what do we have next? We have this dude who's probably one of my favorites. Well, wait, we'll hold on to that one. We'll go ahead and uh, 
Check out another one with the uh, same weird ramming feature. This bull guy. Very strange. But his feature still works and it's kind of neat. <clears throat> ah, there you go. Yeah, these features are kind of annoying. They, they want to work and then they don't want to work and it's a pain in the ass. Pain in the ass. Okay. Then we got this regular looking alien who's pretty cool. It's probably one of the coolest ones out of the whole line that doesn't look ridiculous and looks just normal. Doesn't really do anything. It's just there. And that's cool. Can't complain about that. He's worth it. He is worth it. He, she, it, whatever it is. And then here's the one that I got originally back in the day. I was I think I was in high school. Maybe a freshman or something, sophomore, I can't remember, but uh when these were out originally. The Super Nintendo was all the rage. People were going to raves. And um and yeah. I think it was before I had no, I think I did have a car back then. It could have been my sophomore year, I can't remember. But uh but back in the day, back in the day, 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 day. 92, 1992. So it means they would have been out in 93. So yeah. I would have been probably like a sophomore in high school. And this dude is my favorite alien. We're finally going to get to this guy. I love the color scheme. It's green and like kind of grayish black. Kind of reminds me of the Dragon Walker colors and plastic kind of. Very, very cool looking. But he's also got this cool kind of uh, porcupine feature that's pretty neat. Pretty cool and this guy's probably one of my favorites he is probably one of my favorites put him right there and without you can't have aliens without these guys and this guy's gonna be a pain in the ass I'm pretty sure but the predator a translucent one and like I said I love translucent figures and this guy's cool but he's gonna not want to gonna stand so we're just going to sit him down and, uh, yeah, he's going to just kind of hang out, hang out and lounge. Okay, and now we're moving to probably one of the other coolest pieces I have. We're running out of time here. Is uh, the load lifter. This thing is pretty neat. These features up on top don't work on the gun. The claw hands still kind of work. Actually, okay. Yeah. See, the whole thing is, I never really sat down and messed around with any of these. I just won them and uh, threw them in the box in the closet and was like, okay, cool, we got them, neat, you know. Just being an eBay holic back in the day and just uh, getting stuff and not even really worrying about it. Here's another vehicle. I'm not sure how this one works. I've had kind of trouble getting it to work, but it's, in it's interesting nonetheless. I don't know which. I guess you could put a dude back here or something. Hanging out. And then you got this up top. This turret. Got another gun right here. I guess a guy could stand right here and work a gun or something. I'm not sure. And you got these things. I don't know if these are supposed to deflect aliens or what. And you got this other gun that pops up right there. But for the life of me, I can't figure out how to work this part. So if anybody knows, shoot me some advice or something. Be nice. And here's, here's the fellas, some colonial marine guys, got this dude who, uh, I think he works with, um, with this minigun, but I'm not quite sure. It doesn't really stay in his hands that well, and I'm sure maybe he's supposed to have, uh, something to clip on, but if you can get him to hold it. And you twist his waist. It's kind of like he's firing crap, so it's kind of neat. But um, but once again, yeah, I'm not sure how it works with them. But they got this weird kind of head swivel, creepy twist thing. And yeah, and it's cool the clicky sound because you can kind of imitate gunfire with that. And I think he doesn't want to stand either, which is kind of I hate about figures like these that come um pre-posed and not articulated for posing, because when they get old and warped, they don't want to. You don't want to do anything. Then we have the android dude. I think it was Bishop. Was his name? 
And uh, yeah, all this is all he does. He kind of comes apart, minus the the milky slimy crap. And then we've got this dude. I'm not sure which guy this was or supposed to be. So I think these are all just based on a cartoon. Yeah. And then I also have some companion buddy uh, face huggers that are cool. That are nifty. You can uh, put them on. Put them on the dudes. So they can get their faces sucked, well, or not. And uh, yeah. And then um, also another baddie. It's a uh, chest burster fetus baby alien. And that's pretty much it. I do have some other weapons and stuff that go with them, like uh, like this thing. I don't know if I guess this might go to the predator or something. I'm not sure. And a gaggle of uh, crazy guns. I don't know if this goes to the predator too, but it's a pretty neat gun. With a barb on it. And, um, and this gun's pretty cool too. It reminds me of the of the Brave Star gun. This kind of a uh, claw thing. Another cool pistol or rifle. And another kind of um, this reminds me of something that went to maybe went to the Terminator series or something. I don't can't remember. I guess it's a shoulder arm kind of shoulder gun thing or whatever. Cog gun. I don't know what the hell. And another weird gun. And another gun, which I have nothing to put in it or use for, but I'm sure it went to somebody. I guess their hands just slide right through that there, and who would use that? And that's pretty much it. Yeah, and the stupid alien head that doesn't go to anything or do anything. I guess it launched something, but I don't have I don't think I have the figure that goes with it. But anyhow, that's a look at my um little alien collection or just something I had in a box in the closet just sitting around and I figured we all take a look at it and check it out and um maybe uh Mike's over next time my buddy Mike will just uh goof off with these things or set them up or whatever but anyhow um thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and uh happy throwback Thursdays everybody peace out